we'd be on the move. Do we know where the hood is for the honorary degree? I don't yeah, we don't have the either the degree or the hood here, which should be in here. Okay, no, no, it's yeah. I'll ask Melissa. I assume Leanna did. Let's see what Melissa says here first. And then the other thing is, is I want to get. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Um, you asked me. I brought down more water, but let, would you guys have maybe three or four? Mm -hmm. Sure. That's got the Florida Southern yep. on it instead of me putting the, the Costco brand out here. Do you want them uh, in the podium the same way? Uh, no, I'm going to put them under seats. Oh, for, for, for folks that are, no, just people who are seats. Yeah, he's, uh, what's her name? Gretchen is filling in. Is this uh, is this Dr. Kerr's? That's just the that's just the extra. Okay, here was another. Oh, that's from the hooding. Yeah, that's yours from the hooding. Okay, we I'm don't not going to yeah, so just yeah. Yeah. there on purpose. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <need that. laughs> yeah. Oh, um, put one for me, uh, one for Larry. Yeah, it's in my office. Yeah, it's the Your door locked? Yeah. Yeah, I locked it when I came down. Okay. But Mark, uh, Lindsay can unlock it. But she, I think you should have to. Can she unlock our office? I mean, our office is locked. Okay. Or is somebody heading back up there?
two metals. Actually, I'm going to put all of this in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look stupid. Absolutely not. No. I was like, it's, it looks better than writing on the box. Seven more minutes. Um, so students are to start coming in at 1035. In, in here or into the chapel? No, into here. They should start making, they're making their way down from the chapel starting at what time? 1035. 10. But 1035 we, they, leave the they leave the chapel at 1035. Okay, so they'll start then 1040-ish. Yeah. No, and based on this morning, this is going to go fast. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, who cares? You know, <laughs> if, if I could have this done in 20 minutes, we'd, we'd be walking out of here. Yeah. <laughs>
Good morning. Welcome to the 138th year of commencements at Florida Southern College. Thank you for joining this assembly to celebrate the educational achievements of the class of 2022 by conferring their academic degrees. I would now like to introduce the Reverend Timothy Wright, class of 1994, to give the invocation. Following the prayer, please remain standing for our national anthem, led by Aaron Santos. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, as we gather together on this momentous occasion, a day of transition and a day of transformation, we remember with thanksgiving all those who have helped us to this place. We are grateful for the constant support and love of families, for the lifelong friendships we have formed and that have formed us, for the faculty, staff, and mentors who have challenged and inspired. We're grateful for obstacles overcome, challenges accepted, and opportunities realized. Bless each of us on this special day and fill us with your spirit so that we may turn to our futures with confidence and hope. Give us such resources of imagination, courage, and will that we may be faithful servants and stewards of an age that is yet to be. All this we ask in your amazing grace. Amen. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave? Aaron, thank you. Please be seated. Graduates of the class of 2022, in varied ways and by many means, will have a significant impact on society. Students in this class have been accepted to many distinguished graduate and professional schools. They will also work at Fortune 500 companies in dynamic small businesses, at not-for-profit organizations, in leading medical facilities, in our nation's schools, as actors and musicians on stages throughout the United States, as commission officers in our armed services, and on mission fields around the world. To the graduates, I wish each of you extraordinary success. It is now my honor to recognize members of the Florida Southern College Board of Trustees participating in today's commencement. Seated on the stage are Ms. Nancy Katerias, class of 1969, Mr. Al Garcia, the third class of 1990, Mr. Larry Stahl, president of the Florida Southern College National Alumni Board of Directors and class of 1970, and Dr. Robert L. Fryer, Jr., class of 1970 and chairman of the Florida Southern College Board of Trustees. Thank you all for joining us today. 
I would now like to invite Larry Stahl to introduce our senior speaker, Mr. Stahl. At each commencement, a representative of the graduating class is invited to give special remarks. Our senior speaker today is Antoinette Warren. Antoinette came to Florida Southern from Gadsden, Alabama. She majored in accounting and minored in English, and she was an active member of the campus community. She served as president of Beta Alpha Psi, the Accounting Honors Society, while also holding membership in Enactus, Phi Eta Sigma, and the Poetry Club. After graduation today, Antoinette will begin her career as a staff accountant with Raymond James. She also enjoys the arts, and besides writing poetry, she also paints and draws. Please help me welcome Antoinette Warren. Good morning, Dr. Kerr, Board of Trustees, esteemed faculty, fellow graduates. Congratulations, class of 2022. We made it. <laughs> Thank you, Florida Southern College, for the opportunity to attend this amazing institution and everyone who made this special day possible. Today, I will be graduating with two accounting degrees and an English minor, and I also have a job lined up at Raymond James. I have dreamed of this day for the longest time, and now that dream has come true. Like many of you, this institution and the faculty here have played an important part in guiding us to realize our dreams. My story has always been about balancing my work in accounting with the creative writing, with the creative outlet of writing poetry. Came here already writing poetry and the English faculty taught me the technical knowledge from the creative writing class to American literature and modern and contemporary poetry. I have sharpened my writing skills. So now I'm going to read you a poem that I wrote. I was going to analyze a balance sheet but I didn't think too many people would appreciate that. <laughs> this poem was written in the spring of 2021, and it's called Poem for the Incoming Freshmen, but updated for graduating seniors. <laughs> Some days, you peeled yourself out of the bed like a sticky note. You wore your ID around your neck, and everyone knew that you were a freshman. You might have been nervous about going to class and worried about first impressions, probably debated with your roommate about what time is too late to leave the light on, or you may have brushed away confrontation. You may have even felt uncomfortable asking a question in class or froze when asked your opinion about a passage in creative writing. The average person is a freshman two times in their life, but a senior in more aspects than I can name. If I had any advice to give, it would change depending on the person and the circumstances. High school and college are important pieces that shape the kind of person you will be. No pressure. Cherish what comes after it. Get involved in the community, start that orchestra, coach that cheerleading team, form that poetry club, find something that you believe in and sit tight. You'll wish that you never rush to the time when the ride is over. You'll wish that every day floated past with an air of obscurity and things felt a little less urgent. Because we're only getting older, flourishing in our youth, hoping to get lucky like a four-leaf clover. Take the time to get to know yourself and get comfortable being authentic in who you want to be, because that's what it's really about. As a senior, approaching my next transition, it's hard to believe that I would have made it this far. And I don't know how to feel, 
Maybe I'm supposed to feel special, but I'm no shooting star. I'm doing what I need to succeed to keep my dreams from being ripped at the seams. And it seems that I was just a freshman. We all have beginnings. It's up to you to determine the value you wish to receive on your journey. Are you motivated by money, positions? What is it that keeps you running? Whatever combination of items that is, tap into it because you're gonna need it. For those late nights and early mornings, the friendship breakup, and other unexpected things that may seem like inconveniences. If you do what makes you happy, then it will be worth every penny. No matter the beginning, there will always be an ending. Be careful where you're spending. Certain things don't deserve your time or your energy. Be careful where you're spending. Certain things don't deserve your time or your energy. Congratulations to everyone who is graduating today. Here we are again, freshmen of another class, except this one is called Life After College. We must not stop here though. The world needs people like us to inspire change. We have the responsibility to influence the next generation to be greater than us. Langston Hughes once said, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. To the class of 2022, dream big. Now I invite Gretchen Ferrasi, a double major in environmental studies and marine biology, and our administrative vice president of the Student Government Association to introduce our 2022 commencement speaker. Thank you, Dr. Kerr. It is my honor and privilege to introduce our distinguished commencement speaker, Mr. David Denor. Mr. Denor is the publisher of Florida Trend, the highly regarded statewide magazine and website read and visited by business executives, government officials, and civic leaders. As publisher, Mr. Denor's responsibilities include direct oversight of Trend's editorial sales, marketing, digital, audience development, creative, production, and business operations. He leads the company's continued growth in areas of new digital products, audience development efforts, specialty annual supplements, and the ongoing curation of custom content. He is also on the board of directors for Florida Trend. Mr. Denor joined Florida Trend as associate publisher in July 2016, was promoted to deputy publisher in May of 2017, and announced as publisher in January of 2019. Prior to joining Florida Trend, he spent two years as Vice President of Business Development for Hanson Dodge Creative, a full-service digital agency in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Before returning to his home state of Wisconsin in 2014, Mr. Denor spent nearly 15 years overseeing the business and sales, sales operations for Crane's Chicago Business, the nation's preeminent weekly business-to-business -business publication and website. Prior to Crane Chicago Business, he spent five years as a senior account executive with the Milwaukee Business Journal. Throughout his career, Mr. Denor has participated and been actively involved in numerous organizations, associations, and nonprofits. And he has continued those endeavors in Florida. Mr. Denor is a graduate of the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, where he earned his Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. He and his wife, Jessica, have four children, and they reside in the Indian Rocks Beach area. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our 2022 commencement speaker, Mr. David Denor. Good morning, everyone. 
and congratulations on your amazing accomplishment. First off, I would like to thank President Kerr and the Florida Southern College Board of Trustees for inviting me to share a few thoughts with all of you before you embark on your individual journey. I am truly honored and privileged to be here celebrating with you this morning. We are all questioned on the choices we make throughout our lives, and you have started down the right path by choosing to earn your degree from one of Florida's and the nation's top-ranked institutions of higher learning. Your achievements from Florida Southern College will follow you throughout your lives. My wife, Jessica, an elementary school teacher, is also here with us this morning, joining in the celebration of today's special occasion. Jessica and I are the proud parents of four children, ranging in age from 27 to 21. Our oldest son graduated with his bachelor's degree in hospitality five years ago and was married last year. And he and his wife are young executives working at the Biltmore Estate in Asheville, North Carolina. Our daughter graduated with her first bachelor's degree two years ago in public health and just graduated with her second bachelor's degree in nursing a week ago. She, thank you. Um, we agree. Um, she was just hired by John Hopkins All Children's Hospital in downtown St. Pete and will be working as a surgical nurse in their operating room. Our two youngest sons, one is also graduating this month with his bachelor's degree in computer information systems, and the other will graduate in May with his bachelor's degree in criminal justice. So our family is in quite the celebratory mood too. As parents of four college-age children, we know all too well that today's journey has been a shared sacrifice for you and your family. Together you have worked hard, pushing and driving yourselves further than at times you even thought possible. To the parents, the grandparents, and family members of today's graduates, I applaud and congratulate you as we know the many con contributions you have made to ensure today's course was completed. And to the graduates, your day has finally come. All the energy, effort, focus, late nights, early mornings, your time is now here and we could not be more proud of you. Life takes you on a journey. Embrace it. Learn from it. Don't shy away from a path that might feel a bit unfamiliar or takes you away from your comfort zone. There is so much knowledge out there. Grasp onto it and follow where your passion takes you. This morning, I'm going to share our own family's journey that took Jessica and me from young college, uh, college graduates starting out in our careers to the parents of four children to where we are today, appreciating our rewarding professions and experiencing our own children's growth into adulthood. Our journey throughout the years was not easy. We worked hard, we laughed, we cried, we celebrated, we struggled at times, but we persevered. We beat the odds that were against us. And today, nearly 30 years later, Jessica and I are enjoying watching our own children as they embark down the road of life's lessons. Jessica and I both grew up in middle-class families in Wisconsin that believed strongly in higher education. Our parents helped with the cost of college expenses, but the lion's share fell onto us. 
to pay for our tuition, we both worked nearly full-time jobs throughout college. During the summers, Jessica worked at the paper mill in her hometown of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I spent two summers working in Cordova, Alaska in a salmon processing plant. I would love to say I was able to explore the natural beauty of Alaska, <laughs> but working an average of 17 hours a day, six to seven days a week, didn't allow much time for sightseeing. It did, however, give me a greater appreciation for the significance of a college education. My original plan after graduation was to go to the police academy and pursue a career as a homicide detective. My parents had helped raise 32 foster children while my siblings and I were growing up. Giving back, helping those that were less fortunate was instilled in us from a young age. I believe this was what led to my interest in law enforcement and homicide work, as I would be helping families find closure after traumatic situations. Little did I know that was not the path that was intended for me. Jessica and I, Jessica and I started dating the summer before our junior year of college. We were mar married at the beginning of the next year, and we were blessed with the birth of our oldest son at the beginning of our senior year of college. Our final year of college was spent working hard to coordinate schedules between school, work, and raising our young son. I remember many times waiting outside of Jessica's classes with our son in the stroller, ready to do the handoff so that I could then run to my classes. Thinking back on it, I don't know how we did it at such a young age, but we did. We persevered, we stayed focused, we accomplished our goal of finishing school. Jessica graduated with her bachelor's degree in elementary education, and I graduated with my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Just as you are here today, I remember sitting there in my cap and gown, pondering not only my future, my dreams, my next steps, but the future, the dreams, the next steps for my wife, my son, and our young family. The world around us was filled with uncertainty, reservations, and doubt. But Jessica and I believed in one another. Our families believed in us. And the future was at our beck and call. Upon graduation, I chose a different route than the police academy. I was offered a position at a contract engineering company working as a business recruiter for the firm. After six months, I was given the opportunity and promoted to a business manager position. I stayed on with the firm for another two years. Those were formidable years for me, where I learned very quickly the value and impact good managers bring to a business. Those years helped shape my management style and defined the business leader that I would become. Today, nearly 30 years later, those early lessons learned still hold true to how I run my organization. I enjoyed my time with the contract engineering firm, but it was not my passion. So when a business opportunity presented itself in a new industry that I was interested in, I took the leap. I started my new career as an account executive with the Milwaukee Business Journal. I was instantly hit with the publishing bug. I absolutely loved it. I saw firsthand the value of the written word provided to our readers and to business executives across the region. I spent the next four years growing my career at the Business Journal with business leaders creating Build, creating and building marketing plans, 
to help them grow their business operations. During those four years, Jessica and I bought our first home. We had two more children, a daughter and then a son. And during this time, Jessica decided to continue her studies in higher education, teaching during the day while attending school and studying at night. Her perseverance and hard work paid off as she earned her master's degree in early childhood curriculum. Life was good, business was good, but our journey was just going to take another turn. I was recruited to lead a business team of account executives for Crane Communications, a large publishing company in downtown Chicago. It was a career growth opportunity that we knew we could not pass up, but we would be moving away from our state, or moving to a new state. We'd be leaving family, friends, and our first home that we had purchased just a few years earlier. It was an exciting time for us, but one that would take us out of the comfort zone that we had worked so hard to create. Jessica and I, hand in hand, set forth on our new life adventure. Our children were six, three, and a newborn. I started my job in downtown Chicago in January, and we had just bought a plot of land in the western suburbs and decided we were going to build our home. We were living in a small apartment with our three young children while waiting for the construction to begin on our new home. I'll never forget this day. It was a sunny April morning, just three months after starting my job. I'm walking out the door to catch the train to my job in downtown Chicago, and Jessica, with our newborn child on her hip, looks at me and says, David, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> Another defining moment for our journey. Now, with four children, all under the age of seven, we made our decision that Jessica would stay home with the kids, as the daycare bill would have been more than what she was earning as an elementary school teacher. It was a hard decision at the time, but one that we have never regretted since. For the next 14 years, we lived in Chicago, raised our family, and made many friends. I continued to grow my career with Crane Communications, building out new business divisions, and overseeing all business operations for the publishing company. It was an extremely busy business environment, but that did not matter, as I had such tremendous passion for the industry. It was a good life, but I'll tell you, those 14 years went by quickly. The kids were growing up, our oldest son was off to college, and my work-life balance, well, it wasn't balanced. My work life had become all-consuming. It was just around this time that I was offered a vice president of development role with a large digital agency back in Milwaukee. We decided to take advantage of the new business opportunity and slow down a bit, get the work-life balance more in line, and enjoy spending more time with family. But the passion that I had for the publishing industry never left me. We enjoyed the next number of years in Milwaukee, and then in early 2016, I received a call from a business peer of mine in the publishing industry. He was the president of Florida Trend. Florida Trend is one of the nation's longest running, most respected, and highly regarded business-to-business -business publishers. It's Florida's only statewide business-to-business -business publication and website. He and I had served together on National Publishing Industry Association boards. We had shared business insights with one another and learned from each other's business dealings. He was calling me that day to inform me that he was nearing retirement and that Florida Trend was beginning its search for his successor. 
Today, I am honored to have the dis distinct pleasure of running Florida Trend. Our monthly business magazine provides business critical industry news and information to over 270,000 monthly readers. We also deliver daily business updates through our robust website and digital platform that garners over a million monthly page views and attracts over 170,000 unique visitors each month. As well, we deliver 3 million business and industry e-news alerts every month to a 100% subscriber-based audience. It is quite the news operation for a Florida business. And I'm also proud to say that in 2023, Florida Trend will celebrate its 65th anniversary. Jessica and I are now beginning to embark on the next chapter of our lives, where we have the pleasure of watching, observing, and experiencing our own children's individual journeys as they venture down life's undetermined paths. Life takes us all on a journey, paths that many times are unknown and unfamiliar, yet with hard work, purpose, determination, humbleness, staying true to our values, the road begins to open and our mission becomes clear. As I close this morning, I want to leave you with five thoughts that I hope will guide you as you begin down the road of your own individual journeys. First, follow your passion and don't be afraid to take chances as you never know when an opportunity might present itself. Second, embrace every challenge. Don't shy away from them. Third, the easy path is not the path that leads to fulfillment. Fourth, opportunities are earned, not given. And last but not least, live life to its fullest. Again, congratulations on all you've accomplished. Your future is bright and your journey is just beginning. Mr. Denor, thank you for that inspiring message, and I do want to publicly welcome Jessica this morning as well. So now I invite Trustee Larry Stahl and Chairman Robert Fryer to escort Mr. Jeffrey Baker to the podium for the presentation of the honorary degree. Dr. Brad Hollingshead, Provost, will join me at the podium. Madam President, I present Mr. Jeffrey Baker so that you may confer the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. Thank you, Mr. Provost. Whereas Mr. M. Jeffrey Baker is a distinguished graduate of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, where he earned degrees in building science and architecture. Whereas Mr. Baker has served with greatest distinction for more than 30 years in the architectural profession, including more than 20 as partner at Misick Cohen Wilson Baker Architects of Albany, New York. Whereas he has participated in the restoration of some of our country's most precious and significant structures, including George Washington's Mount Vernon, Thomas Jefferson's Monticello and Academical Village at the University of Virginia, James Madison's Montpelier, the Vermont State House, and New York State Capitol buildings, as well as our beloved Frank Lloyd Wright designed Child of the Sun campus. Whereas Mr. Baker has studied the iconic architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright throughout his career, 
using this expert knowledge to inform the comprehensive plan he created to preserve and restore the Child of the Sun campus, including the Annie Pfeiffer Chapel, the Water Dome, Planetarium, Esplanades, and then the building of the Usonian House. Whereas he has also designed several new buildings on the Florida Southern College campus, including the Sharon and Jim France Admission Center, the Carol and Marcus Weinstein Computer Sciences Center, and the forthcoming Adams Athletic Performance Center that share articulation of unique design elements with Frank Lloyd Wright. Whereas Mr. Baker is considered one of the nation's foremost preservation architects and is respected internationally for his ethical business practices, knowledge, and design creativity, be it therefore resolved by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Florida Southern College, I hereby confer upon Jeffrey Baker the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. Dr. Baker, congratulations. Well, I was told I didn't have to say anything today. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Dr. Kerr. I thank you, the Board of Trustees and everyone here, including the staff and the uh, professors at Florida Southern College who have all been very supportive of me here over the years. It's been an incredible uh, journey uh, to be here. Um, I've been uh, supported by my family. My wife, is Linda, is here. Uh, my parents, uh, Mal and Carol Baker, and um, my old high school friend, uh, Joe DeSalvo, and his wife, Lee, came over from Jacksonville. I've known him well longer. I've known my wife. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to say um, working here has been an incredible, probably the greatest honor of my life. I get to work uh, with the greatest people in the greatest buildings. Uh, you heard uh, I, I get to work with uh, Thomas Jefferson's designs in the morning and uh, Frank Lloyd Wright in the afternoon. So it's, it's been a dream. Um, but again, I just want to say thank you, and I'm humbled uh, by this award. Thank you. On this day, it is a tradition that we honor a graduating senior who exemplifies the values of Florida Southern College by awarding the President Scholar Medal. Medal recipients are graduating seniors who have achieved academic excellence at the very highest level. This year, I am pleased to announce that two graduating seniors will receive this honor since they tied for the award. I ask that Brooke and Caitlin Lowry please join me on the stage. To my recollection, this is the first time that we have had twins receive the award. <laughs> Brooke and Caitlin have admirably balanced a rigorous academic curriculum with active engagement in the life of the campus. Brooke majored in exercise science, while Caitlin double majored in business administration and healthcare administration. Both graduate summa cum laude with highest honors. In addition to their stellar academic performance, Brooke and Caitlin both played on the women's soccer team and were members of the Health Occupation Students of America organization. Brooke and Caitlin's academic advisors spoke enthusiastically 
about these two outstanding graduates when they learned about this year's award. Dr. Charles Allen said of Brooke, she is an extraordinary individual. Her leadership, selflessness, and work ethic are unmatched. Brooke is a polished professional and has been from the moment she entered the program. And Dr. Liz Krause said of Caitlin, her academic talents are eclipsed only by her strength of character, which leaves an enduring impression on those who have the pleasure to work with her. After graduation, Brooke will pursue a doctoral degree in physical therapy, and Caitlin will pursue a master's degree in healthcare administration. Brooke and Caitlin, you have brought great distinction to yourselves and to your college. I know that you both have stellar futures ahead of you, and we are very proud to call you Florida Southern College graduates. Congratulations. I now invite Dr. Robert L. Fryer, Jr., Chairman of the Board of Trustees for Florida Southern College, to deliver the charge to the graduates. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Kerr. To my about-to-be fellow graduates, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, including the 21 alumni members, we congratulate you, we celebrate your successes, and wish you all the best in the future. We know that you will represent Florida Southern College well in your endeavors and will continue to make us proud. We challenge you to be supportive alumni of your alma mater, and it is our hope that many of you will serve your beloved college in the future. Go with Godspeed, good luck, and our congratulations. Thank you, Chairman Fryer. The class of December 2022 has 197 members. 61 will graduate with honors. 22, cum laude, 14, magna cum laude, and 25, summa cum laude. We congratulate all members of the graduating class on their achievements and wish them every possible success in the future. Will the candidates to receive bachelor's degrees please stand? Madam President, on behalf of the faculty of Florida Southern College, I have the honor of presenting these candidates for the following degrees, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Music Education, and Bachelor of Science. Thank you, Mr. Provost. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Florida Southern College, I am pleased to confer upon you the bachelor's degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Graduates, please transfer your mortarboard tassels from right to left. Congratulations. In keeping with our Florida Southern College tradition, I invite the family of each graduate to stand for the presentation of the diploma as the graduate crosses the stage. Marshals, please bring the graduates forward. I will be assisted in presenting the degree candidates by Dr. Alex Ortiz. John Austin Blair, cum laude.
Rachel Ozeno Carter, cum laude. <laughs> Kenneth Cronin. Brooke Ashley Lowry, summa cum laude. Alexandra Eve Mankey, magna cum laude. Anna Zhongli Sand Lambert. Kyle Garrett Schiller. Tamara Jacqueline Chevalier. Caitlin Voitus. Ashley Atkinson, cum laude. Andrew Willicum, William Alcas. Lucas Robert Brausch, cum laude. China Quinn Bullen. Christian Castro. <laughs> Timothy James Clayton, Jr. Hiram Javier Cuevas. Anthony John DeMarco. Catherine C.C. Donahue. Kaya Haley Eccles. Jacob David Ellis. Jordan Gaynor. Which one is it? Caitlin Rose Giles. Isabel Guillot. Robin Amelia Jones, cum laude. Alexander Cole Julius. Anna Elizabeth Keen, magna cum laude. Kimberly Kersop, magna cum laude. Alexander Paul Niewasser, cum laude. Adelaide Briggs Winslow Knight, summa cum laude. McKenna J. Kowal. Ryan Edward Lomsky. Caitlin Nicole Lowry, summa cum laude. Taylor Alexis Mims. Maria Regilo. Dana Brooks Robinson, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Sapupo, summa cum laude. Andy Spishok. Jennifer Staten, magna cum laude. John Andrew Tucker, summa cum laude. Zachary Bryce Walker, cum laude. Dewan Willie Wilkins, Jr. Robert Winkler. Michael Emerson Zumwalt. Christina Marie Olivia Alarcon. Ellie Rose Bora. Eric Maximilian Collins.
Jordan Croge, summa cum laude. Mylena Furman, cum laude. Alexis Mary Garcia. Ashlyn Brooke Herring, summa cum laude. Courtney Paige Lofgren. Rebecca Lynn Messina. Haley Christine Sells. Sabrina Merman Wolf, summa cum laude. Judith M. Samora, summa cum laude. Kai Matias Anderson. Olaris Elena Garcia, summa cum laude. David Gastambide, magna cum laude. Alex Hopel. Blake Lowry, magna cum laude. Max Spade. Magna cum laude. Phoebe Stark, summa cum laude. Hadley Strange, cum laude. Kenzie Lynn May Vaughn, summa cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Lang Woodford, summa cum laude. Clara Mancia, summa cum laude. David Santos. Michael Dean Gunter Jr., magna cum laude. Ariana Marie Metzler, magna cum laude. Victoria Allison Wilkinson, summa cum laude. Nicole Ireland Ambrosio, cum laude. Josie Elizabeth Brown, summa cum laude. Aurora Hope Dominguez, cum laude. John Francis Espinoza, cum laude. Dylan McAvery Frazier. <laughs> Ashley Jacqueline Hodges, cum laude. <laughs> Hajar Zegba Ramel. <laughs> Bailey Abigail Huff. Allison Lee Kirby, cum laude. Karis Law. Joseph Hayden Lee. Ariana Lavana Lewis. Ariana Lavon Lewis. Dana Denise Lewis, cum laude.
Ashley Lofgren, summa cum laude. Madeline May Long. Shane Edward Kamakani Lumsden. Karen Naomi McDaniel Tolentino. Andrea Caroline Miglirato, cum laude and with honors. Marte Mo, magna cum laude. Madeline Morales, summa cum laude. Christina Lee Morano. Thomas Neubert. Phelan Donnell Red DeJarnet. Philip Matthew Rodriguez, summa cum laude. Stephen John Roth, summa cum laude. Zachary Joseph Royal. Adam Robert Slinnan. Ashton Mackenzie Stone, summa cum laude. Molly Marie Tu, summa cum laude. Rachel Margaret Walker, magna cum laude. Danny Shea Wise. Justin Woodstock, magna cum laude. Kendall Francis Cattell. Peyton Suzanne Bell, summa cum laude. Claire Elise Dininger, summa cum laude. Linda May Dowdy, summa cum laude. Emily Kuyan, summa cum laude. Will the candidates to receive master's degrees please stand? <laughs> Madam President, on behalf of the faculty of Florida Southern College, I have the honor of presenting these candidates for the following degrees. Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Accountancy, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Industrial Organizational Psychology, Master of Education, and Master of Education in Transformational Curriculum and Instruction. Thank you, Mr. Provost. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Florida Southern College, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Marshals, please bring the Master of Science in Nursing candidates forward. Bilal Ahmad. Amy Ow. Elizabeth 
Harper Campbell. Jitendra Chowdhury. Constance Olita Chun. Valencia Caprice Coffer. Jessica Concepcion. Precious Janelle Dunn. Lena Mole George. Monique Elizabeth Harrigan Heichel. Melissa Mercado. Norma Ojeda. Ruth Ann Oski. Nidal Isaiah Pinkston. Karen Suzanne Williams. Marshals, please bring the Master of Accountancy and Master of Business Administration candidates forward. Pedro David Bernardi Blanco. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Dwyer. <laughs> Bryce Alec Grisani. <laughs> Antoinette Demetria Warren. Marshals, please bring the Master of Science, I'm sorry, Marshall, please bring the Master of Business Administration candidates forward. Riham Walid Abu Adas. Luke Edward Albritton. Shireen Punagar Brown. <laughs> Seth Randall Kennedy. Adam Walter Conradi. Alberto Diaz. Jacob Devin Fullhart. Valentina Antonia Gonzalez Esquiera. <laughs> Kayla Elizabeth Griffin. <laughs> Sean Michael Hamlet. <laughs> Juliet Elise Jackman. <laughs> Kristen Ann Johnson. Julian Jordan Canosa. John Pierce Kiesler. Lisa Marie Lehman. Sarah Diane Palmieri.
Madison Purley. Catherine Michelle Pastel. John David Shaheen. Ashley Nicole Taylor. Leanna Marie Wheatcraft. Marshals, please bring the Master of Science in Industrial Organizational Psychology candidates forward. Nehemislerd Bain. Sarah Patricia Jaskovac. Marshals, please bring the Master of Education and Master of Education and Transformational Curriculum and Instruction candidates forward. Tia Irene Antoinette Amos. <laughs> Chloe Anastasia Bashirian Ullman. <laughs> Matthew Lee Collier. <laughs> Olivia Victoria Hermy. Katherine Arden Hoffman. <laughs> Anithio Miller. <laughs> Tony Lee Molinaro. <laughs> Melinda Karen Rains. <laughs> Pamela Santos Villanueva. Renard Olester Thomas. Allison Ann Tracy. Will the candidates to receive doctoral degrees please stand? Madam President, on behalf of the faculty of Florida Southern College, I have the honor of presenting these candidates for the following degrees. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Doctor of Education, Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, and Doctor of Physical Therapy. Thank you, Mr. Provost. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees of Florida Southern College, I hereby confer upon you the doctoral degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. 
Marshals, please bring the Doctor of Nursing Practice candidates forward. Olga Cristina Rodriguez. <laughs> Marshals, please bring the Doctor of Education and Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership candidates forward. Diana Louise Doss. Riddle. Riddle. Trish Riddle. <laughs> Marshals. Please bring the Doctor of Physical Therapy candidates forward. Michaela Rose Barger. Richard Michael Barletta. Jennifer Leanne Barr. Ariel Birchfield Evans. Cameron Kennedy Brennan. <laughs> Kayla Louise Carl. Yeah! Yeah! Caitlin Taylor Daly. <laughs> Brent Michael Doty. Dr. Andrea Grace Farley. <laughs> Megan Elaine Harrison. Dr. Madison Lynn Hopper. Dr. Abigail Rose Kindler. Sternson Leducer. <laughs> Dr. Hannah K. Lewis. <laughs> Garrett Hunt Lisby. Nathan Matos. <laughs> Hannah Lee McCrory. Haley Madeline Metzger. Yeah. Kyle Kenneth Miley. Yeah. Randy and Elise Mintz. Yeah. Brenna Elizabeth O'Neill. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dr. Alvin Purry. Miller Alec Quinones. Brianna Morgan Robinson. Dr. Cameron Ann Schultz. Emily Gail Slater. Justin Raphael Stephan. Philip Ting. Dr. Luis Valverde. Alexandria Deanna Wonders. Now, if you would please join me in recognizing all of our graduates one more time. Graduates, congratulations. <laughs> graduates. I'd like to invite our graduates to now express their appreciation to their families. Families, thank you so much, and congratulations to you. And I'd like to invite you all to stand to recognize the outstanding professors at Florida Southern College, and please remain standing while we sing the alma mater and remain standing for the benediction given by Chaplain Wright. I'd like to confirm that my name is indeed Aaron Santos. <laughs> All right. Orange groves or spread her campus, chimes her hymns in tone. India greets across the garden, Southern's mystic throne. Florida Southern, thee we love, thee will never fail. Hail to thee, our alma mater, hail to Southern, hail. Stately walls alone can never compass learning's goal. Heart to heart must pass the token, soul in spirit, soul. Florida Southern, thee we love, thee we'll never fail. Hail to thee, our alma mater, hail to Southern, hail. And now as we bring this ceremony to a close, I remind you that if you would remain standing at your seats until the faculty and graduates have recessed from the auditorium. And now as you go forth for the next steps in life's journey, may you dream big dreams, and may God's grace be with you on this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen.